Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, today's video is on favorites, fails, and empties for the month of June. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I just wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, and that way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, so let's jump in because I have a lot. So let's just start, and I'm just gonna randomly uh, pick things out here. Okay, let's talk about some empties. Um, I have gone through a box of the City Beauty Line Smoothing Hydro Mask. These are by far my most favorite masks. I did a whole video on favorites and fails of City Beauty. And these are by far amazing. They have a biocellulose material that when you put on, it is just chock full of anti-aging ingredients and you put them on, wait 30 minutes to take them off and I'm telling you, your skin will never look better. They are amazing. So yes, those are a staple and a gold standard. I've also gone through an uplift Firming Serum. Um, I'm really obsessed with this lately. Um, I haven't worn makeup for like two weeks. It's been really nice not to have to put on makeup. Um, and I put this on twice a day, so that it, um, I so I've gone through that as well. I've gone through a bottle of the Grove hand sanitizer. This is the Blood Orange. I love this. It's back in stock. Um, they also have the uh, minis. So this is a big one, this is a mini. So what I do is I fill, I have about four of the travel size. So I just fill them up um, uh, into the travel size and then I keep them with us. Um, I've gone through another of uh, the Go Pure Hyaluronic Acid. I have replaced this. This has the vitamin C, E, and green tea and it has been replaced and it is in my mini fridge. Let's talk about a favorite. That is a favorite for the month. I picked it up a little over a month ago. I think I picked it up in May. Um, and I thought, do I really need one of those? Yes, I do. I have all my under eye masks in there. Um, you know, right now my favorite is the uh, D Demora 24 karat gold under eye patches. That is currently my favorite. Um, so those are in there. I have my moisturizer under eye cream, uh, serums. It's wonderful. And it's, there's nothing like putting an under eye mask on that's been in the, um, refrigerator. I've gone through the Australian gold sunscreen SPF uh, SPF of 50 UVA UVB protection. So I've gone through a thing of that. Um, the other thing that I've gone through is new to um, Australian Gold is their new continuous spray sunscreen instant bronzer. This is in a 30 SPF. This I'm obsessed with this. Um, let me just, I have a small amount left. I made sure to save a little bit so that I can just show you how luscious this is. I mean, it's so gorgeous. It smells divine. And well, you know, when you're not breathing in all of the fumes, see just the difference in just that little easy beat. So it gives a nice little glow. So it really helps, uh, um, it really helps uh, extend your self tanning. Speaking of self tanning, I've gone through a bottle of the Josie Mar and self tanner. Yes, I have a backup, that's, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, I've also gone through Alba Botanical Hawaiian Sunscreen SPF of 50. This is also a broad spectrum uh, SPF. Um, this one is uh, water resistance for 80 minutes. This one I got off of Grove. I used it on the boys when we were on vacation and I used it on ourselves and I really like it. Yeah, it's completely empty. Um, so this is a really good one if you're looking for a more natural uh, sunscreen. I've gone through another uh, Magic Root Touch Up uh, from L'Oreal. This is in the color red. Um, I go through that about once a month, depending. I have gone through a deodorant. Um, I do use clinical, uh, secret clinical strength in the clear, uh, in case y'all care. Um, so I've gone through that. 
I also have an empty of Epsom salts. This is um, also by Grove. This is the sleep formula with lavender essential oil. Love this. My muscles have been killing me lately because I have started a, root a workout routine. Um, so I used that up within a week. I was like, my, I am sorry, y'all. Let me tell you. Um, I've gone through um, multiple lashes. I've gone through the, um, they're both by Kiss. I use the Muse and I use the Gala. Gala is what I have on today. So they're a little bit more dramatic. Muse is sort of in between. And then Little Black Dress uh, is more of a natural. Um, so I do do an underliner inner rim underliner. So right in here. Um, the one from Tarte, gosh, I've had for quite some time. I finally went through it and I thought about replacing it, but I still had my e.l.f. in silver. And when I tried it, I was like, why did I ever buy that? Um, so I did not like that. So I found a, I decided to try a new one. This is um, by Jolie, you can get it off of Amazon. It's in a nude and it is a waterline liner. So what you do is, let me just come in here, you just put right here and it brightens the eye. And this is great because it's in a nude. So I love this and that has replaced uh, the Tarte and I won't buy the e.l.f. again. I don't know why I thought about that. Um, I, am, I did run out of the adhesive lash glue. I picked up a different one this time. I picked up one by Duo and I like this because of the applicator. Um, it is not a um, it is not a brush. It is actually a flexible like little piece of plastic if you will and I actually like that a lot better because it just glides onto the eyelash so this is definitely my new favorite um, I did get a new mask I'm not sure if I showed this one so if I showed this one forgive me but I don't think I did I showed my son's last time so this one is really beautiful again it's black uh, with just a little pink and um, got a floral design um, I love these they are favorites um, she, there's a lady on Etsy that makes them and she has been so sweet. I order quite a bit of them. So she's actually given a discount code through the month of July for free shipping. Um, and then also, um, there is a place right inside here where you can put a filter. I get the filters off of Amazon. So you could just check out my Amazon page and they are listed there. So those are a must have. Um, absolutely 100% a must have. In Texas, we are in the midst of bad, bad things. Um, I got the cutest headbands um, and they have absolutely become a favorite. Like I am obsessed with these. I think these are so darn cute. I love the colors. They came in a four pack, so you can see this one. They've got like a paisley print to them. So that they had a blue, they have a red, there's um, this white one. I mean, I just think they're so flipping cute. And what I love about them is they're not, like they're not gonna hurt my brain. So um, I think they're so incredibly cute. And then a couple pieces of favorite jewelry. Um, they're gonna be Kendra Scott pieces, of course. I just, I'm like fixated on Kendra Scott right now. And no, I am not an ambassador for Kendra Scott. I just love their jewelry. Okay, for all my pieces, they're not gifted to me in any way. I wish. Um, so I love these earrings. I've been, I, I tend to gravitate towards these. I tried to think about the pieces that I've gravitated towards during the month of June and it's definitely these earrings and then the Lariat necklace. So um, I loved it. I got it in, um, did I get it in gold first? I think I got it in the gold first. So this was the gold and it's a lariat, meaning that you can pull it um, and make it as short or as long as you want. So if you want it more pendant length, you can have it that way. If you want it more choker length, you can have it that way. It's got the hammered, um, hammered gold or silver and it's beautiful. So let me just show you the difference in the metal. So I bought the silver one as well. I think they're beautiful and they're on sale. So snag them if you can. Um, this bracelet, I, 
I mentioned this bracelet a million times, I know, but it is a favorite. I love it, it's super lightweight. I think it's very elegant and beautiful. I love the band, I love the little um, stones. And um, if you want earrings to match, they have the stone earrings, or if you're looking for hoops, this is the macrame um, bracelet. They have hoops that match identical. They're pretty big hoops. Um, let me just show you. They're definitely not small, but um, I mean, they're not like massive or anything, but let me show you, see? I mean, they're incredibly cute, but they just match, the, the metal is exactly the same. I love them, I think they're super cute. Um, now, the Sunnies that have become a staple and a favorite for the month of June, certainly, and also, <laughs> moving right into July, um, are the uh, Sunnies from Amazon. These are from Obsidian. I love them. Um, one of the reasons that I like them is I love aviators. You know I wear aviators all the time. But I love these during the summer because I tend to do this. When I do this, if I'm wearing aviators, it will stick in my hair, and I hate that. So I love these, good quality. Um, they come with nice packaging. I've actually been managing to keep them in the box. Are you guys proud of me? It's amazing. Um, speaking of hair, um, absolutely, I'm obsessed with Pretty Parties ponies. Um, I've done two videos on them. I love them. They're so simple and easy. Today you can see that I've done sort of two, two, they're not really ponies, but I mean, I guess they kind of are. I don't really know, but, um, you just put, you just put, I mean, if you haven't seen the video, I will list it here. So fun, easy to do. Um, and I love it. I mean, instantaneous long hair, literally no longer than five minutes it takes you. Now let's talk about my let's talk about the shoes that i've been wearing the most um aside from uh sneakers because i've been working out but aside from that uh, well i guess i started that in july so in june i would say these are the ones that i've worn the most because they're extremely comfortable these are the sam edelman's i love these sandals it's a no slip i did wear these also to the resort so they're extremely comfortable like okay another favorite pair of shoes that i've been wearing are these what i will say are dupes for the tory birch i mean they can't get more of a dupe than that. But uh, for $25, and this is, I don't know if this is plastic or metal, but it literally has this similar, like a similar logo, and it's in a gun metal. They're very limited in sizes, but they have them in this, um, this uh, color as well as a nude. Wish I would have picked up the nude for $24. And then they have other ones that look like this without the metal part, and they have these in about 20 20 different styles and colors. So if you want leopard or black or blue or whatever, they have them in their $20. So really great. And I've just, I love the price points. Um, I would say, you know, we're, I'm home almost all the time. I mean, aren't we all? Um, I would say things like this maxi dress. Okay, I love this dress. This one's from New York and Company. I loved it so much, I picked it up in red. It has not arrived, but I will show a picture of it. Stunning, it comes in like four colors. It's just easy breezy, it has pockets. I like that it has this detail here, so it covers everything that needs to be covered, and um, it's just incredibly comfortable. The other things that I've been uh, gravitating towards are, oh, I'm run out of breath here, are the summer dress, the two summer dresses that I got from Amazon. Um, this is the one in orange, um, and then I have one in a more neutral color. I'll show you video of them. Love them both. They are awesome. They're so pretty. I just love the pattern, and the orange one, I just am obsessed with that color. It just is such a good color. The other thing is the Ann Taylor black tailored shorts. I wear those all the time as well. If I'm going out, I will wear those. I love them because you can dress them up or down. And then, excuse the wrinkling, um, this white tee from um, Ann Taylor is another staple and another favorite. I love it. It has the eyelet detail. So it's like a basic tee that's just been brought up a notch. So those are some of the items that I've just been gravitating towards. 
All right, guys, so that's it for favorites, fails, and empties for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.